continue tracking a pinpoint weather alert. It's calm tonight in the capital city, but we're expected to see heavy rain and damaging winds by early tomorrow morning. A flash flood watch is in effect for most of the region. Plus, several coastal communities are under a high wind warning. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Mike Montecalvo. We have live pinpoint weather team coverage of the approaching storm. I would assume supporter Sheena Lasciuto is standing by with how people are preparing for the nor'easter. But first, let's go to Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with the latest. Tony? Well, Mike and Shannon, this will be a wind-driven, heavy rain and strong wind gust. The high wind warning for the areas in red along the coastline beginning tomorrow morning through the afternoon. Interior sections shaded in tan. It is a high wind advisory. Bottom line, the winds are going to be pretty strong, especially along the south shore, gusting at times over uh, 50 miles per hour. So that uh, leads to the possibility of some isolated power outages. So the threat tracker is low for now and Sunday looking okay. But sandwiched in between is a storm for Saturday, a coastal storm with one to three inches inches of rain Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon and those strong wind gusts ranging anywhere from 40 to 55. Again, the strongest gust being felt along the coastline. So it's quiet locally. Uh, the precipitation that we're anticipating is still well to our south. You head down to Newport down at Easton's Beach. These are one of the locations where we expect some of the strongest winds along the coastline, more than likely gusting over 50 miles per hour in places like Newport. So feel very confident about heavy rain and some strong wind gusts, some street flooding, some uh, storm drains that be clogged by leaves. We'll see some flooding of low-lying streets. Bigger rivers should be okay. We're going to watch for some strong thunderstorms in the afternoon. And like Tuesday, some of these thunderstorms may be rotating. So something that we'll have to keep a close eye on. It is a very slight chance as far as any kind of a spin-up or a tornado, but the chance is there. Even though it's uh, very small, it's certainly worth mentioning, obviously. And, and that's something that we'll watch very closely. So the timing here tonight looks fine for the most part. At least the evening hours, your rain, the heaviest of the rain and wind is likely during the daylight hours of Saturday. Uh, both the rain and wind will tend to ease by Saturday evening and Saturday night and your Sunday actually looks a lot better and drier. You see the clouds streaming in the leading edge, the precipitation with this developing storm now over the Virginias and this will track north and east. Let's take it into the uh, forecast now and show that shield of rain approaching tomorrow morning and into tomorrow afternoon. The area of low pressure to our south. The wind swept heavy rains right through the uh, mid-afternoon hours. Things will tend to taper down by Saturday Saturday evening and Saturday night. We take a look at the wind speed for, well, first of all, the flood watch in effect for one to three inches of rain. Localized street flooding is likely. Reduced travel speed, so more than likely, we're going to see rainfall totals anywhere from one to two inches with isolated three inch amounts all coming down over a short period of time. And the net result may be scenes like this both tomorrow morning and into tomorrow afternoon. The strongest winds near the coast up to 55, gusting to 60 on the islands and 35 to 40. Uh, across interior sections, so there may be some damage to tree limbs and power lines, and once again, the possibility of some power outages both during the morning and afternoon. As the wind swept rain as early as 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, temperatures starting off at around 42. Heavy rain and wind, at least during the early afternoon, will tend to ease up by late day and early evening, and this sets the stage for lighter rain and lighter wind by Saturday night. Sunday is a better day, uh, mostly cloudy, not as um, Draw wet. It was heat temperatures in the upper 50, so a drier day. Some showers on Monday, nothing too serious. Tuesday and Halloween Wednesday, good news for the trick or treaters, looking good with a high temperature approaching 60. But a rain and windstorm likely for your Saturday. All right, Tony, thank you.